Now, in the year gone by, Justice Govindarajan had come out with a recommendation for the fees to be collected by all schools here in Tamil Nadu. The Madras High Court, including the Supreme Court, said that though the committee recommendations are being reworked in the interim, the schools should follow the original guidelines laid down by the committee. However, most of the schools here in the state are blatantly violating this rule. One parent in Chennai decided that he can no longer stand this injustice and decided to take a school head on. He, however, ended up paying a huge price for it. Take a look. Husnara, Asrar and Zainab have put away their school books, not because it's summer holidays, but because they have been expelled from a leading CBSE school in the city. Their crime? Their father has locked horns with their school for not complying with the fees prescribed by the Justice Govindrajan Committee. A poor auto driver demands 10 rupees over and above the meter. We argue, we haggle, we lose sleep, we file complaints. But when the same thing is done by an educational institution, they say we want 335% more than what has been fixed by the committee. We have no issues. Commercialization of education is happening. The school management says it is very difficult to run an efficient institution by charging what the school fee committee has recommended. Of course, it also says that it will abide by the recommendations of the revised school fee structure being prepared by the Ravi Raj Pandian committee. An argument most schools across the state have up their sleeve. Interestingly, both the Madras High Court and the Supreme Court have passed clear orders on this issue. Schools that have collected fees in addition to that prescribed by the committee should consider the excess amount as deficit till the committee releases the revised fee structure. This is a violation of uh, the constitutional right as well as the statutory right. It amounts to denial of uh, education to the children and uh, we are proposing to file a writ petition before the High Court of Madras challenging the action of the school. The TC which was handed over to the three children says that they were expelled because their father indulged in activities prejudicial to the school management. Activists say that this act has violated the RTE Act and will prove detrimental to those students. There is no um, action that need to be taken against the child at all. And if they have any grievance against the parent, they can go for a criminal complaint or a civil complaint and claim damages also. They have just violated the provision of the Right to Education Act and sent the children out abruptly. Come what may, I will continue this fight till I get justice to my children and till all other children in Tamil Nadu also get the same justice. Over the past one year, there have been several instances of parents protesting against schools for charging exorbitant fees for their children. With the school fee committee yet to come up with a final fee structure, the question is, will it bring an end to the tussle between parents and schools? In Chennai, this is Krishnamurti for NDTV Hindu. On headlines now tonight, I have two guests with me. Joining me is Arthur Ahmed, the saddened parent, and Prince Gajendra Babu, the general secretary with the state platform for common uh, school syllabus. Uh, first coming to you, sir, you might stand out alone from the rest of the crowd of the parents, that is, um, where while you have both, both of the girls and a boy expelled, I believe you are planning to go the Anna Hazare may way, maybe? Uh, if necessary, yes. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. Because what I have seen in my own experience uh, is that my struggle against the commercialization of education commenced in June 2009. You know, that was a time when I realized that the school managements are completely insensitive to the other point of view. You know, the parents also have a bigger stake. Mm -hmm. So when the school, initially, let me give you this instance, the school revised the, the fine for the grace period from 50 to 500. You know? This was obnoxious. I approached the joint secretary of the school management and she was just not worried. Uh, the attitude was, we will be like this. You do whatever you want to. So then I filed a complaint with the CBSE and uh, through an RTA petition, I made the CBSE take action and mm -hmm. the CBSE said, this hike is unjustified. Mm -hmm. the, they also advised the school to roll this back, which they eventually did. Next, again, uh, another affiliation bylaw which says that you cannot revise the fee in the middle of an academic year. I, those uh, instructions are very quite clear, you know, the affiliation bylaws. But then this school did that as well. You know, the last academic year, they revised the, fi uh, the fee by about 10% at the beginning of an academic year. And then after the first term, they revised it by another 20% over the already hiked fee. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I protested against this. I wrote a complaint to the CBSC, and I also met had uh, numerous uh, interactions with the school's management. What they said was, "So what? You do whatever you want to. What can the committee do? What can the government do? What will they do with 2,500 children? The government can only withdraw. The government can only recommend withdrawal of the affiliation to the CBSC, and the CBSC will never do it. Now, what happens? And worst case, if they do it." we will close down the institution so what happens to this 500 2500 children so i was aghast because you know these people are holding 2500 children to ransom Understood that is the time i decided come what may mm -hmm. regardless of the consequences whether somebody joins me or somebody does not join me i am going to fight this till the end i will see to it that commercialization of education is rooted out of our society examinations and results you know being used as 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 pressure tactics maybe by the school uh, management do you believe then this has perhaps left other parents helpless at least you have come forward but uh, do you think they are pretty much taking uh, see, advantage of the situation then see most parents if they want they can also fight they can also join but the thing here is when i decided to go ahead with the struggle i had done my spade work you know through rti i had obtained a lot of information as to what do the cbse affiliation bylaw state and i also have the seven year audited statement of accounts of this school so now my question is i have seen that almost about 45% of the school's fee collection is being routed to the parent association to the trust that is running the school mm -hmm. now is it legal or illegal is a question i do not know as a layman mm -hmm. but then as a layman I understand that it is immoral. Now, how do you justify? Now, another thing is the CBSE affiliation bylaw state: fees charged should be commensurate with the facilities offered. So, if that was the case, mm -hmm. where has this 45 percent come from? You know, that's one. Second thing for the other parents also to join. If we could, you know, the RTI is available today. Now, the audited statement of accounts of every academic institution is a public document, so it can be obtained by just spending 10 rupees. also if the same could be made available to every parent now every parent will look at this at the end of the year and say hey so much of money is being routed so then you know you're suggesting like a movement of sorts maybe to you exactly. know get to, get systemic, parents together the yeah? system also has to change okay the proactively the authorities also have to get into it especially with the cbc schools what is happening is we have a directorate of matriculation schools which handle the matriculation schools yes. we have the uh, directorate of anglo indian schools but we don't have a directorate for cbc schools so mm -hmm. you know the ball gets pass between these two the right. the state government says you approach the cbsc and the cbsc says hey we can only conduct examinations right we can only give affiliation with regard to the uh, the fees and other matters are concerned that rests with the state government mr ahmed i know this uh, uh, troubles you as much as any other parent uh, but if the state uh, the school education minister was watching the show tonight what would you want to say to him and and what final you know solution can really be put to this Uh, first and foremost, uh, the minister. Uh, unfortunately, today we don't know who is going to be the minister mm, as yes, of now. Yes. But having said that, uh, see, definitely the ministry also has to get into the act and see when such violations. Okay, I have not paid the fee over and above the uh, uh, determination. Uh, the determination committee's recommendations. Right. Now I have made the school to ensure that you know they precipitate. They I wanted them to take the precipitate action. So right. when such instances come to light, mm -hmm. at least then they can get into the system. They can look into this particular issue and say, hey, this is what has happened. Now, when the minister intervenes and says, you know, cancel this TC, readmit the children, mm -hmm. automatically the other parents will also know, right. yes, the law is on our side, right. the system is on our side, and the government is also on our side. So they will definitely fight this out and root out the uh, root out this evil. I call this as an evil. Mm -hmm. so this will definitely get uh, uh, removed from the system. Right. And I hope it's uh, you know probably within the next uh, 15, 20 days I'm looking at a positive result, especially from the judiciary, if mm -hmm. not the minister. Right. I mean, you know, all hope is not then lost. Then right? definitely not. I'm right. never going Better to give up. Better sensitivity. <laughs> perhaps at the end of, end of the day because this is something as basic as education and all of us right. uh, have the rights to that right thanks exactly. very much indeed mr mehmed and much. mr prince for joining us on the show tonight Thank and talking to us about this